to another day with the Travel Bureau. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining us today. <laughs> today we are going on an adventure. Well, we're always going on an adventure, but today is another adventure. Oh, no. In paradise, we're in Sikior still. Yeah. We moved to somewhere in the mountains-ish. It's quite nice, it's actually. Yeah. We're only paying 500 pesos a night for this. And and look at there. Really look nice. at the size of this bathroom. <laughs> oh, not bad. I'm so sweaty. Look at the shine on my head. Wow. <laughs> I'm not that sweaty in real life, guys. He is. What we're going to tell you we're going to do now doesn't necessarily mean exactly what we're going to do because plans, plans can change. change. But we met two Italian guys and we went on uh, a trip with them yesterday and it was a lot of fun. If you watch that video, I haven't edited it, but I feel like it was a good video. Watch that one. Uh, this one, we're going to a marine sanctuary and then we're going up to a mountain to go and see the witches because there's witches that live here. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go on a hunt for witches. Well, not so much a hunt, but a search for witches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no more witch hunts. <laughs> that went well, terribly <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to go and find some witches uh, around a mountain and then we're going to go check out a marine sanctuary. Yeah, but we might not do either of these things, we'll do something else awesome. Either, either way, way, come along guys <laughs> and join us for the journey. Are now on the top of a mountain. So we've been driving up this kind of really cool looking road over here. It's awesome. And there is no one, no one around at all. It's taken us about maybe 30 minutes to get to the top up here in the mountain. It's and so pretty. Can you hear the sounds around us? There's birds chirping, blue skies, so many different trees and plants and moss everywhere. It's like we're really on an adventure. So apparently Sikior is famous for witches uh, that are up in the mountains and that is what we are looking for today. Uh, I don't know if it's something you can even go and do and find them. Uh, our friends have been told that they do healing uh, and our friend has a bad back so he wants to be healed by a witch. They've heard that they will do healing on you or like massage or like I don't even know, like that energy healing. You Reiki? Know, like Reiki I guess but more witchy. And <laughs> witchy Reiki. You can pay them like whatever you see fit so if they do a good job you can just give them a little donation so i think everyone could do with a little healing sexual healing <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to say play that music just then um <laughs> yeah so everyone could do with a little bit of healing so we are gonna try and be healed so on the map this place here says it's the healers festival but there is no sign whatsoever of any healers of any festivals any sacrifices any frogs potions i'm just trying to think of any other stereotypes that healers might use so something goes on here you got these little steps everywhere lots of flowers there's something over here that looks a little bit like it's a theater or something all these uh, chairs are facing towards something so we have just stopped again we have seen a sign for a viewing point we are still on the hunt for witches but if we don't see witches, hopefully we'll get a good view anyway. So we met some people at the top of this viewpoint who told us they're the healers and they're willing to help us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it the kids? Oh, okay, okay. One, two, three, four. 
Thank you. Oh. Well, that was intense. So we just got here to this lookout point and there's a big Filipino family or friends. And they and loved the boys. And they, they're like celebrities. They're like each one, they saw they're like, oh wow, so handsome, oh, so handsome, so handsome. <laughs> they were like asking for photos with each of us and then and all then together. And... One of them had a photo with all three of the guys and I thought she was going to pass out from excitement. <laughs> it was and, very funny. And then they said that they're... Uh, Bye guys! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Have fun there! Goodbye! Yeah, taking pictures! <laughs> Salamat! You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> Filipinos are awesome because I think they uh, they share the same sense of humour as we do mm -hmm. and so it's very easy to get along and they were really funny. And they just have such a funny outlook on life. They're yeah. just constantly laughing and smiling, oh, high-fiving when they're joking. They always seem to be happy, like, mm -hmm. no matter how, like, even on like these dire travel buses and days when like everyone's super uncomfortable, they're always laughing and joking around. Like nobody ever seems to be miserable and upset and stressed. And then they were telling us that they're the healers and <laughs> they will do it for one dollar. They don't mind. <laughs> and one of the guys was saying, this woman here, she's a virgin, she will heal you. <laughs> But anyway, that's enough excitement uh, for one day. Uh, it's, it's too much information for us really, but... So, let's go check out the roof. <laughs> I think that was the highest point on the island. We didn't see anything higher around. And it's a um, pretty awesome view. Yeah, and nice breeze up there as well because we're a bit sweaty. But we got some bad news. Mm. We're giving up on the healers. No more healers. No more witches. No more witches, yeah. But I feel suitably healed <laughs> by these hilarious Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> they really made my day. That was uh, so much fun. Change of plans. We've been told there's healers. Just five or ten minutes down the road. Let's I go. I my finger. <laughs> so we pulled over and the guys were asking some locals about where we can find the healer. And we were told that this guy is like the great step grandson of her or something. And so he jumped on the back of one of the guys' bikes. We've driven around. We found the sign that says Bulo Bulo Healer, which apparently is something to do with like, she gets some smoke and like, Put it in a cup and I don't even and they know. They think they blow it out. on your back. And, but basically it's to do with faith. you got to have a lot of faith. And I'm ready to be healed, to be honest. Let's uh, go. If you guys come to Sikior, this is a really, really fun thing. Just the adventure. Because I don't think online you can see like where you need to be going or anything. You just have to drive around into the mountains and start asking the local mountain people. And if they want to take you to the local healers, then they will. So there's also apparently two different types of healing. So the one we're about to do now is called Buku Buku, which is Emma said, it's like blowing smoke onto your back and I'm not sure we'll find out exactly what the process is. And then there's also massage, which is the kind of like Reiki with energy. But look where we've got to walk. Now we have to walk through the woods. It's very dense and very thick. So you wouldn't just find this by yourself you need to gonna have the help of a local. This is one of the coolest adventures we've been on in a very, very long time. I would love to know the Filipino subscribers that watch us, what do you think of this? Is this something that's maybe traditional? Is this something that's very unique here to Sikyo? I am so interested in what you think about this because this is fascinating to me. So we've just found out that this is the great grandson of the famous healer here in Sikyo. <laughs> this is crazy, look where we're going now. 